Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Truth About God. And I'm in a, not a new place. I mean, not do that. I'm just right here at my house, all right? I just <laughs> decided to film in a different space today. That's it. Um, I hope y'all having a good week. I hope everything's been okay for you and everything's been all right with me. We've just been busy around here, uh, trying to be a little productive in the world pandemic and uh, doing some housework and also some soul work, some spirit work, all right? And that's what I wanna talk to y'all about today, is accepting yourself as you are, accepting yourself as you are, accepting yourself how you are, and trusting God to change anything that needs to change, and trusting Him with anything that He decides to leave, all right? I want to start off by reading to y'all the serenity prayer and it says God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference all right I need wisdom to know the difference I need that daily I need it moment to moment second to second sometimes what what will God take away and what will he leave? You know what I'm saying? What will he take away versus what will I struggle with the rest of my life? You know, I'm not going to be this perfect person, this perfect individual. I'm not going to have all my right stuff together all the time. So this is something that I have, you know, poured my heart out to God about and before I go any further, let me give you the first scripture, all right? It is Psalm chapter 139, verse 14. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well, all right? This is a wonderful scripture because it just reminds me, God, you did it. When you made me, you did the thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a wonderful work, and... When I look out in nature, I can see it, but also I need to have that same feeling about myself. God, you created me. Wonderful are your words, and my soul knows it very well. Accepting myself as I am, how I am, how God created me, it has been one of the most challenging journeys with Christ for me in my life up to this point. You know, it's been one of the most difficult things for me and there are certain things that I believed if he took it away from me then I could serve him better and what the spirit just reminded me of is um Paul's thorn you know and I've cried out to God a lot of times about my thorn let me see let me pull this uh scripture up real quick about the thorn. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Because I want to talk to you about it because it's something that God really, like, for real, for real, had to work with me in, work with me through, help me with. It was just, it was a thing. It was a thing. Like, it, 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 it was a thing. For real, for real. Y'all, can I just really not find the scripture right now? Let me. Now, why would I need it? Never mind. I'll post it in there anyway, okay? In the video, I'll link it in there, right? Um, like I said, accepting myself as I am has it's been a journey. I'm not going to lie. And like I said, these thorns, these things that I wanted God to take away, um... And he hasn't and he's taught me about his grace being sufficient for me it has been a struggle i'm not gonna lie it's been a struggle because i really have felt like if he took it away i could serve him better and i would be better and it does require a level of intimacy and honesty with god and yourself you have to be introspective with those things because some things that we want to change are like superficial you know 
but some things that we want to change the the deepest parts of our soul the deepest uh yearnings of our heart and the desires you know these are the things that we have to cry out to god about and give to him and ask him to come into us and help us and give us guidance like well what's up like is this what's up with this how do you feel about this how do you see it um how are you going to use it if you're going to sustain me and your grace is sufficient how are you going to use this in my life for your glory and my good all right and that's going to lead me to the next scripture which i do have ready all right it is jeremiah chapter 31 verse 3. the lord appeared to him from far away i have loved you with an everlasting love therefore i have continued my faithfulness to you sometimes when i feel away and I'm asking God for help with things or just to intercede in my heart. He brings me to the scripture and he reminds me of his faithfulness and he reminds me of his goodness and he reminds me of his gentleness with me. And I really need that. And God is very gentle. Like if you don't know him as that, if you think that God is just overbearing and looking down on you and judging you all the time, then... That's not who your father is. He is such a gentle, loving, tender God. He meets you exactly as you are. And even in that, still being mighty and powerful, but also very gentle, all right? So let me give you an example, all right? What if you've dieted your whole life? You've dieted your entire life and maybe you're at the point now where you have to just accept that your makeup who god created you to be and how your bone structure is and all your stuff is you know it just won't allow for you to be a size six frame long term forever you know for the rest of your life that's hard that is hard and people minimize things like that um if it's not their struggle, we can tend to minimize things that we don't struggle with. And we have to do better about that because just because it's not, big, not a big deal to you doesn't mean it's not a big deal to her or a big deal to him. And we have to remember to be compassionate and loving and gentle and empathetic and sympathetic with one another in our struggles. Because what you can handle, the next person can. What the next person can handle, you may not be able to deal with. You know, we all have different tolerances in life for different things so we have to remember just to be gentle with each other in our struggles as well so um like i said what if your makeup just doesn't allow for that you know this is what you always wanted this is how you always seen yourself and this is what you always desire but that's not how it's gonna be that is hard that is hard because your vision dies your vision dies but that's a grief and it is a grief it is a grieving attached to that it is a grief that we need to not avoid not hide from not shield ourselves from but go through and and for lack of a better word embrace but embrace so God can give us something more, give us something better, something different, something better than even what we expected. Um, in my life, everything that God has used, everything that he has used in my life is born from my greatest weaknesses, my greatest struggles, just the things that I personally would just go ahead and throw in the trash can somewhere. God has used for his glory and my good. Not my strengths. Strengths. Okay. <laughs> I have a version of me that I feel like if I could just get to, I'd be content with me. And maybe you have that too. Maybe you have this idea of you in your mind and it could be with your weight, it could be in your finances, 
It could be in your marriage. You could be putting these ideals and expectations on other people. It could be in your ministry. You know, this version of you that just seems just right. You know, if I can just do it just like this, this will be perfect. And it'll be, you know, right on the money, you know. And maybe you won't have that. You know, like for myself, I have this version of me that I like to get to. And then maybe I'll be content with and then I'll be okay. And the truth is, the truth is, that's not true. The truth is, I'm enough already. I am exactly as I need to be. Perfect as I am because I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. And he doesn't make any mistakes. And we hear that a lot. And it's hard to accept it for ourselves. We can say it to other people. Like, I don't make no mistakes. You're just fine. You know, ain't nothing wrong with you. Then when it comes to you, it's like you have this checklist of things that you could just get rid of. You know, and then, then I'll be okay. Right? Um, who I am is exactly as I should be. Because this is exactly as God has created me to be my flaws my weaknesses my um shortcomings all of that all of it every bit of it is just exactly as it should be and i don't fit in in any way in any way not in the ways that i you know some of us think that we should or want to you know and that's okay that's okay that is actually perfect all right that is actually perfect um and if you're feeling like you don't fit in or you want to or you are not where you want to be or where you hope to be maybe you're exactly as you need to be maybe you're exactly where you should be and you have to ask god to help you accept you today right now exactly as you are not fixed up not fixed up not fixed up to your own standard of being fixed up but today ask god to help you love yourself right now and accept yourself right now because he does all right hope this message blessed you i hope it encouraged you i hope it helps you you know to love you right now today all messed up if you feel like you messed up if you look at yourself and you say oh man i'm all messed up <laughs> okay hopefully this helped you to love you, yourself today all messed up because god does he loves you right now just as you are all right and like i said this video blessed you or helped you and encouraged you in any way please like subscribe and comment below and i'll see you guys next time bye